Hi my friends, we are back with another daily struggle. This session might be shorter because we have fewer tactics to go. So here what I see is like it sounds like Caesar's mate because our bishop can deliver check from here and if the queen was for example there it was a mate, right? But unfortunately the queen is not there. Uh, right, the image and queen is there and bishop gives a check and there is no way to defend the check of bishop. So it's a scissor mate. But unfortunately the queen is not there. But on the other hand, on the other hand, I don't see much options for white. Even if I uh, give a check from here. Okay. If king goes to h3 then it's made on g3 with the queen so king has only one place to go and that's g2 and g2 isn't the most spectacular place that it can go right or is it we can give a check from here king oh sorry no, after g2 we can give a check with the queen on e2 king has only basically one place to go and that's g1 and after king goes to g1 yeah if we can reach our plan right what i'm saying is that i give this check and then i force the king to go down this is forced to go to g1 right and here okay 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 it's not the force to go to g1 it could have gone to up there but then we win a queen and that's it right so i will show you what was happening if it was going to g1 and we win a queen and it's a little bit difficult game but still we win this game so is it a mate no, it's not made so yeah okay let me show you what i'm saying if it was going to g1 uh, it was a caesar mate that we were discussing early uh, if it was going to g1 right i was able to give this check forcing the king to go to h1 and then this check king goes up and our caesar mate is there right so you should know the patterns then it's easier to calculate for you and uh, if it was going there it was made already right so either it was g1 or i think g1 continuation was um, more beautiful because it was showing how the caesar mate works but they decided for whatever reason to give up the queen not making it so dramatic yeah so if you know the patterns, you can always solve the problems much easier. Now at this position, I'm thinking we win a piece, right? We grab the bishop. If by queen grabs our rook, then we win the uh, rook of black. If by rook grabs our queen, we grab their queen. And we are up a piece. What, what's wrong with this puzzle? Why it is so easy? I, I have no idea why it is so easy. So I grab the bishop. Grabs with the queen. I grab the rook. I grab the bishop. Queen doesn't have any place to go, right? It doesn't have any good place to go. Offers queen exchange. I accept. I really don't know why it's so very easy puzzle here. Uh huh. It wasn't super easy. So now it's a difficult part because now I should decide what to do. I think I should move the king up because if I take with the rook, takes with the queen, so and I will lose. Another option is to play rook e1, but then takes with the queen and I will lose. So I have to move. And then I can give a check with the queen, and after queen goes up, I win the rook.
Okay. Next puzzle. So this one, we want to give a check and win. All right? Something like this check, this night check is somehow winning. But we cannot do give this check because queen captures the knight. So um, it's not completely winning, it's somehow winning. But uh, to do it, uh, I think about placing the rook here, kicking the queen away. And once the queen goes away, then I can give that check, that killer check. But uh, still, it's just a killer check. You know, the problem is that it doesn't mate. It doesn't deliver mate. So, if we had the... Yeah, if we had a bishop, a white scored bishop, then we were able to deliver mate somehow. Oh, I'm thinking about this move. I captured this bishop, releasing my rook. First of all, if I capture this bishop, black has to capture back, right? Because what? Because then, then what? I don't see any good reason to say that they have to capture. So maybe it's a slow. Maybe it's a slow and I should play this move. If I play this move, then uh, consider the worst case scenario. Queen captures my rook. I capture back the queen. And then, for example, bishop captures my mm, bishop. I capture back. Then at the end, wins mm, my knight with the pawn. And what I have, I have a rook and knight against two rooks. That's not that's not good actually, right? That's not good. What if what if we do move quicker? If we do the check early on, then captures the knight, then what? Or captures the pawn. Everything is possible. So what else? Mm, another thing I'm considering is to capture this bishop directly captures my okay it, this sounds like a plan capture this bishop directly captures a uh, bishop then then what the problem all the problem I see is that black at any moment then I would thought that rook a to d1 check uh, attacking the queen but the problem is that black has the luxury to exchange queen for a rook at any moment we are of a piece true we are of a piece but we are losing the piece because it is attacked by the b pawn so if black win the piece plus exchange the rook with the queen at the end we are done an exchange so this luxury of being able to give up your queen is very bad very dangerous for us so Another direction I can see is that if I capture this and black also capture back, capture my bishop back. If black doesn't capture my bishop, then what I can do is that, to, um, for example, if black captures my knight with the pawn, then I can attack the queen and rook and win one of them. And I still, I always have the option to play rook d1 and then bring it to the back rank and finish the game somehow. So after I capture the bishop, black definitely captures and then we win, right? Because no, no, we don't. No, black captures. Black captures the bishop. Then I attack the queen with a knight. This time, 
it's not the queen who is uh, it's not the rook attacking the queen but it's a weaker piece the knight and queen should move somewhere and then i have a time to bring the rook on d1 or bring the other knight in looks like a plan right okay black doesn't do that so we win the rook and we are happy because continuation is somewhat winning for us right this continuation we have a e pawn at some point black has to sacrifice a queen for that pawn and oh, black even doesn't want to do that but doesn't have much options i can play various moves here i don't know which one i i think here it should have been ended for example one move i can play is that bishop goes there attacking the queen and the plan is to place the bishop there you know and later push the pawn there are like tons of plans uh, another plan i see i don't see other plan actually let's play this okay sacrifice the oh it was extra hard and we have a very good streak oh that was for today's puzzles so let's see what was the rating of this extra hard puzzle today we were okay not very good okay oh it was 3274 yeah it was nice we sold it I also did some other puzzles but then had an interruption and stop. Um, one of the puzzles that I did and I enjoyed and didn't show you was this puzzle. This puzzle first move is very easy, we give it check, right? It's false. And then another move it's 2900 rated, but it's very easy puzzle. Another move comes in mind is to give it check and deliver mate here. Uh, sorry, uh, give a check and win the queen here, right? Now queen defends the check. But then still, white is losing. Mm, uh, even it's not winning the queen because after check brings the knight in, we take the knight, and then brings the bishop in on h6 uh, on uh, d6, and we cannot block the check and we cannot do anything. Instead, if we give a check with the queen, this time when the knight comes in, we can grab the knight. But we should not. This is where everybody went wrong, and this is why there is puzzle is rated so high. We should not quickly grab the knight because after we grab the knight, bishop comes in front, and that's it. We cannot deliver mate. Instead, we should deliver mate right now. You may say that okay, what's the difference? What's the difference if we grab the knight and then deliver mate? right but the problem is that there is no mate anymore because the rook is released and can be now a rook so it was a tricky one and this is the reason why it is 2900 otherwise it was very easy puzzle and i'm proud of doing this together this was a very complex puzzle but the idea was to expel the rook from the back rank somehow because this rook was the one that was defending the back rank together with the other rook and preventing us from queening over pawn and then the rest is a story right it's very easy to play the rest i hope you enjoyed and see you next time with another struggle